Welcome to Quick Tips, episode number four. In this episode, I'm gonna take a look at the firmware that Unique just came out with for the Typhoon H. This is early September, 2016. And I'm gonna check out some of the features. Stay tuned. Now, what Unique has done with this uh, newest or latest firmware update is they're starting to add features that uh, users have been asking for for quite some time. So I'm just going to check out uh, the features they've added and see how it flies. All right, right off the start, there's the question. Should I calibrate the compass after a firmware update? Well, it depends, and it depends on you, the pilot. If you have enough skills to counteract a Typhoon that is flying with a compass that is not calibrated correctly, then you can take your chances. If you're not confident in your skills, then by all means, calibrate your compass. You'll always know when the compass needs calibration. Either the controller's gonna tell you, or it's going to fly around in a circle when you don't want it to fly in a circle. It's not gonna fly straight, or it's gonna hover and drift all over the place. Then you need to calibrate the compass. All right, the camera update with the firmware. There is an actual update to the camera. Does it take a better picture? In my opinion, I think it does. I actually like the, the picture coming from the Typhoon HCGO3 Plus camera now with this latest firmware update. So let me just run through it quickly. So what they've done is they've put the controls on this little D-pad here. So you can control two things, white balance and exposure. If I move it right or left, I'm gonna move through the white balance and exposure. So what I'm gonna do, it's on auto right now. I'm gonna start the camera recording so you'll see what happens and I'll flick to the image of the uh, what the typhoon sees. So here we go. I'm going through different settings of white balance. The screen should be changing warmer, colder colors. Next thing you have here on the D-pad is these up and down arrows. Think of it this way. If you're looking up, you're pointing at the sun, the sun's too bright. If you want to make the image darker, press it up. That's going to turn your exposure value down. And if you're flying later in the day, you want to make the exposure uh, much more brighter, then push it down. So in other words, away from the sun. Keep on going until you see your image get better. And you should brighten the screen right up. So this feature that Unique added on the trim control, you can move the Typhoon forward, backwards, left or right. With this trim control, you can't move it up or down. You still have to use this joystick over here to do that. But the reason they put it there, I believe, is so that if you're doing a point of interest and you're trying to get the drone perfectly over top of something, you can really get it exact with this trim control. In addition, if you want to fly really slow in a direction and use the pan control, it's hard to use your joystick, even if you put it in turtle mode, and keep it going nice and slow, smoothly. It's not as smooth as the pan control, which is automated, so it works fine that way. If I push this to the right, let's see what happens. This little trim here. It's starting to move to the right, so I guess now, with it gliding to the right, I could operate the camera. It should just keep on going to the right. I'll bring it back to the left, click it three times, one, two, three, to get some speed. I'll bring it down so you can see it. There we go. So now it'll just carry on to the left and I can film all I want. And if you move the stick, it stops the control. So here, I'll bring it back. I'm going to bring it back all the way to the left. It's going to come, make it hit a bunch of times so it goes fast. And if I want to stop it, just hit the stick. It takes it out of that mode and it goes back to a stable mode. So that's pretty decent. I like that feature. So you can control your direction with this controller here. See what happens? I go to the left. Now it starts flying to the left. And if I circle back to the right, it will fly to the right. There we go. So I'm going to set up a classic shot uh, manually, fly it manually, and see if I can repeat the same thing by using the trim controls. So what I'm going to do is whip the drone across, keep the camera on me, and have the drone keep going backwards. I'm gonna try to do this at high speed. So here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, take off. Full speed. So it's coming along. Bring the camera over on me. Hello. And keep it going backwards. So that's a classic shot most drone pilots can do. And then go way up in the air so it shoots off into Never Never Land, into the sunset. I'll just try the same shot uh, using the trim control. 
So I'm gonna hit this a whole bunch of times to get it into a high speed. Set my, oops, there we go, set my uh, pan control so I have full motion and I'm gonna spin it. So it's facing this way, so I have to spin it to the right as it goes by and then try to hold it in place as it flies away. So it's gonna, I'm gonna spin it 180 as it goes by me. Here we go, I'm gonna hit this about a whole bunch of times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm just cranking on it. I, oh, I just got to beep. It's going full blast. Here we go. Crank this around. Come on, camera, spin faster, faster, faster. There we go. You probably could do it. I was about to hit a tree, so I had to raise it and let go of the uh, the, the gimbal, the pan control. Uh, but it looks like you could do it, so that's pretty cool. So if you're a photographer and you've been using the Typhoon to film in low light situations or at night, you've probably noticed a problem with the colors. The colors are not accurate in low light situations and that's mostly because these six LEDs throw off light. Well Unique in this latest firmware has given us now the option to turn off the LEDs, which is perfect. So if you're flying in low light situations or at night, turn off the LEDs and you'll see your colors will come back to life and they will be correct. The rear indicator LED, that will stay on. Uh, Unique has not given us the option to turn that one off, and that's fine. It doesn't give off too much light, and uh, as long as your camera's pointing away from it, then uh, your images should be fine. Another cool thing that uh, I really like is the home altitude. You probably can't see anything I'm showing on the screen here, but there's a little setting here for home altitude. It's got a little slider control. You can go from 20 meters to 122 meters. So I'm gonna go out. So I've hit return home. It's turning around, it's facing me, and it's gonna go up. All the way over to 30 meters, and it's gonna come straight overhead because here I am with the controller. And it's, okay, that's pretty cool. It came overhead and it actually spun around the opposite direction, 180 the opposite direction. So it did 180 when I hit re return to home, went up, came back to me, and it's 180 again. I like the return to home function, that's really good. I, I'm probably going to leave it at about 60 meters, I'll just turn this off so it's not returning to home. So it, it looks like that uh, Unique has uh, listened to a lot of the uh, owners of Typhoons, their, uh, their questions or their, their wants and wishes and what features to add and uh, Unique's added a few of them which I think they've done a great job. So uh, this firmware upgrade is, is pretty cool, some nice features have been added. I'm especially going to try out the night feature, turning off these LED lights uh, because they really mess up your video at night. So I'm going to have to check that out. Stay tuned. So this next feature was probably there in a previous update, firmware update, but I never noticed it. They've taken the one of the points off the uh, Typhoon H Pro and added it to the Advance, and that's on the object avoidance. So now you actually see a bar and a sound as you're getting close to things. Hear that click, 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 click? That's the, uh, the sound that tells you Sort of like you're, when you're driving a car and you're backing up. Here, I'll do it again. I'll put it close to the mic. There you go. And on your screen display, as you'll see here in this picture, it shoots a little item above your head. That was probably there previously, but I never noticed it. I just noticed it in this update. 